very tiring so this just came out and uh, it's funny because even Elon Musk it's basically calling out Disney for this nonsense so basically what they want to do I mean we have heard oh, oh my god I don't know since last year or so we have heard all kinds of stuff here on on this whole pirate Disney is not doing well Disney has done many flops lately they're pushing that kind of whatever walk ideology and all that kind of stuff that it only makes sense to some people i suppose because people are just not going to watch those movies so there you have disney consider ayo edebiri as a replacement for johnny depp in pirate 6 disney is reportedly considering this woman uh, that will feature a younger cast of pirates in search of, uh, in search of hidden treasures. The character she's being considered for is named Anne, and it's possibly possible this character could be based on real life pirate Anne Bonnie, who was an Irish woman. Do I do I have to say this? Do I have to say this? Oh boy, I mean. Anna Bond, yeah, that, that maybe this will look like a little bit more the the maybe the historical figure. We don't know, of course, we don't know, we don't know. <laughs> when Disney makes a movie about Greta Thunberg, first of all, let's hope that they don't make a movie about this whatever woman at all, because we have had enough of her. And this encompasses precisely the feeling of many people in regards of Disney. We also learned that Gina Carano, that was in The Mandalorian, is suing Disney, uh, supported by Elon Musk, that it's funding the, funding the lawsuit. Elon Musk is no stranger to not liking Disney very much because they pulled ads from X, and uh, Elon Musk literally sent Bob Iger to F himself for not wanting to show ads on, on X, doing that type of retaliation, right? I mean, it's insane. And as you can see, this is already like, uh, this is already going, no Johnny, no pirate. This is already going viral again. It's already thousands of uh, shared hashtag with, uh, with that thing. Nobody wants to see a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I've never wished for a company to go bankrupt so much in my life. I have the feeling this is going to cost Disney a lot more than a million alpacas. Sounds about right. All Johnny asked for was a public apology. Disney can admit when they're wrong. Flop. I hope they spend 250 million making this movie so I can laugh harder when it flops. Ain't nobody want to see Black Chick replace Captain Jack. Yes, Disney, please do this. Dare you. Looking forward to the entertainment that, it's that it is to come from this disaster. And it all goes on and on. Disney really wants to keep hemorrhaging money. I'm here for it. Who keeps green lighting this shit? I don't know, George. I, I have the same question, honestly, because it seems like that they're trying. They are so enamored with this all woke ideology stuff that they lost completely touch with the reality of the word and the different cultures and actually war the people that go watch those movies, right? California lives in their bubble. Hollywood lives in their bubble of these people which they think they're enlightened because they just put up sage everywhere, you know? And they do a little bit of gratitude and they look in the mirror and they say like, I'm grateful. And all of a sudden they are authority on bestowing you know what it's moral into the word oh my god very tiring very tiring so what do you guys think i think it's absolutely nonsensical to it's like literally trying like trying to replace indiana jones and even then that they used freaking Arizon ford till he's 80 they managed to mess it up with some sidekick chick that nobody wanted to see and there was a noise annoying as f and they just destroyed the last indiana jones thank you very much for destroying the very few things you got right in the first place so yeah i think 
I think they also do this to gouge the audience to see how the audience react. Uh, maybe this leaked out. But it's obvious, despite the fact that they're losing money and, you know, that those movies are just trash, you know, they don't seem to understand. They keep on going. It feels like there are whoever is in charge, right? That is totally delusional. And it's like a little bit like those actors when the movies are not doing great, they start to blame the audience, like uh, the actors from the Marvels did, right? That she did also in some other movies. Absolutely asinine. So this is Bond. This is Bond to just sink at the bottom of the ocean if they greenlit that shit and they go forward with casting. Um, with casting that actress as Jack Sparrow or whatever surrogate. Boring, absolutely boring to the point where even Elon Musk, <laughs> even Elon Musk is going like Disney sucks. Like again, like it, it's hilarious. You know, it's really hilarious. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. I'll talk to you next video. So please check out my other videos if you want to. I really appreciate the support for the other content and I'll see you in the next video.